What is up, my bananas? Welcome back to more Sonic Colors. In our last playthrough, basically just got done. Basically getting through, I believe, the first few acts of Sweet Mountain. Now we're going to continue with this, and hopefully we can basically knock this whole place out in another sitting in this episode. Now, guys, you basically know I like Sonic Colors. I'm enjoying this. Did I say Sonic Colors when I first started? I don't even know, because I'm slipping on my pimping. Talk so fast as... Talk too fast, people want to find me. First, you got to find me. Who knows the place sound hey chalk? Man, please remind me. Okay, there we go. I have my system. Yeah, these this power up blows. I really don't like this power up at all. The game they get slick with their secret hidden item power ups. But yeah, last play we just got done basically halfway doing uh sweet sweet mountain. And I gotta tell you guys, it's bittersweet with all these sweets and stuff like that. These two D cutouts, like I don't know what these are. Come on, man. You play, you you talking to a boy who played SNES games. But I mean, hey, you know, it, it's very pretty to look at though. I mean. I'm not a graphics whore, so, you know, but I do know when games are trying to be douche. But who cares? It's about the stuff that you can actually walk on, right? Not about the 2D sprite cutouts and stuff like that. But I'm not stupid, game! You can't trick me! Whoa, that was awesome. And so do I again! Okay, yeah, sure, that will work. Okay, and I'm like Tarzan in this mother smurfer. Okay. I don't know what just happened. There's blue rings here that are useful because I don't have the useless because I don't have the power. I swear it's weird. Whoa. Okay. Sonic Rush reference for the freaking win. If you don't know Sonic and Sonic Ru Sonic Rush, you basically had to, to get the chaos room and you had to basically swing on things like that, very similar. You had to use your boost, and you had to pray to God you actually had enough boost to get up there. Compared to old, actually, Sonic Rush, I beat that game actually in a week. It was a very enjoyable game, but like, you know, it was when, because there's a point in a kid's life where you realize, and that's, I'm like, I'm an adult now, but at that time, I, uh, I you know, I used to be like one of those kids who would like beat Sonic games and like clear all the acts and call it a day and little did I know there's something called chaos in which you have to collect to get the true ending of the game so like it's kind of weird telling your friends that oh man you didn't beat this game why didn't I cuz you didn't get the chaos emeralds and only it was weird cuz only I knew that like only I used to play Game Boy games at my friends daycares cuz or at my daycare used to go to because no one else no one understood the whole basics of gaming like I did like I am that guy who like overthinks games but still I used to like play my friends' Game Boys and stuff like that and beat games for them. Like, I had a, I don't know, man, I'm not bragging like that, but I had a skill. Like, for God's sakes, in Pokemon Blue, when these kids, I used to go to, uh, actually, no, I didn't go to high school with him because by the time he got there, I was getting ready to graduate, but he was a cool kid and I used to play his Pokemon Blue and I would catch every Pokemon he couldn't catch. And I said, this was a strategy I did. I basically held, uh, this when the Game Boy was out and we both know, I think Pokemon Color came, I mean, Pokemon Blue came out. During the time of the Game Boy Color, I want to say I'm not entirely sure because I'm not that big. I didn't really look deep into Pokemon like that, but I would always catch Pokemon that he couldn't catch. And basically, to make a long story short, they would thought they just thought I was amazing. That's what she said. You're amazing, Brandon. I'm like, thanks, I know. But you know, that's where the whole skill, the chaos, and real things come from. You know, like I started realizing I was good at games when I was 10. When the first game I 100%ed. Of Sonic wise was Sonic Advance, and I got all the chaos emeralds in that game. It took months to get that right, like I swear, but I did. No, it didn't take months. It took three months to actually get that right. So, like I said, because I was trying to find more reasons to play the game, you know. And I remember the special stages, and the worst part is I actually figured that out on my own. Like I didn't need help, and I really grinded that whole time. And then Sonic Advance 2 came out, and oh, it came to finding seven special rings and. With every character, I mean, it was easy with Tails, but I had to scout out with Sonic and stuff. And okay, there's an opening right there. I had to, I had to use Tails and Knuckles, you know, because they could fly and cream to scout out the pieces. Then I had to think, okay, how do I get, you know, Knuckles up there? I mean, how do I get Sonic up there? Because I can easily get like the characters who can fly and glide up there. I can get Knuckles to climb the wall. I can get Tails to climb. I can get Cream to do it. It's just technically speaking, you've got freaking uh. Let me see. Seven emeralds, four characters. You got 28 chaos emeralds all together. It was just stupid. Like, it was the most repetitive thing ever. I mean, it unlocked different things in that game. But I honestly, without a shadow of a doubt, I hated that so much. And then you get all of them to get Amy. 
If I was an alien in need of saving, where would I be? Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. Experience has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Uh, excuse me, giant killer robot. You want to do this the hard way or the easy way? Somehow I knew you'd say that. Let's date. Back to that story. Just make a long story short. That was repetitive. And I'm gonna hit by that bomb. Okay. You know what I learned too if you want to recover fast? Just uh like you to get up and go motion. So no oh you can jump off these forgot. You know, even though you can't yule oh, okay, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Boom, baby! This fight is like not really hard. But it's like it's not simple it's not really it's it's really repetitive and yes guys if you're wondering the game does reuse the same bosses, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. But it's a sweet ship. You get it? Sweet ship. It's a pun. I made a pun. I'm funny. I hate this robot. I dislike this robot with great concern. Don't tell me tales, I know. If you're actually quick enough, you can like multiple hit him. No, I don't want to dig them. Oh, there's rings over here, bet. No, I do not dig them. Oh, there we go. And rinse and repeat, the battle's not over yet. And then you fall to the lower portion of the stage for no reason. You know, I think you only got two phases of this at the t at right now at the moment. But still, you know, it, just, it was weird, you know, being the only person who knew of the true Sonic Advance and Sonic Advance 2 Origins and stuff like that. I do have Sonic Advance 3. I can't find the Game Boy cartridge, but I do have it. I have not 100% that game yet. The only thing I'm missing in that game is basically the last Chaos Emerald, which I believe in that game, I think we had to find Chaos. Leave me, leave me in the comments. Let me know if I'm right or wrong about that. I believe the whole the premise of that game would have found Chaos, which I just blew at. Like, I don't even know what's happening, guys. I'm just mashing freaking square. I'm mashing the attack button. Okay, th there is no way. Are you... Yeah, you're passed out. I'm passed out. I fall in, I can't get up. I'm falling in, I can't get up. I'm falling in, I can't get up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, show up on these rings. Ah, oh, come on, game. I wasn't done collecting my rings. I need my rings. And that will never be enough to get an S rank same to never. Come on, game. We both know that's an A. Well, I meant you get a one up out of that, but we both know that should be an A. You tripping on me, game. You tripping balls on your boy. Hey, Tails. You missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever. So, is Yacker giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember, this translation stuff isn't 100%. Trust me, I remember. So anyway, these aliens are made up of a really powerful energy source called hyper-go-ons. It's inside of them. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life source. You only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. A funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body odor. <sighs> anyway, it seems an evil man, and you might know him, who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair? That's the best thing I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know, I've already written it down. Anyway, he's draining them of their power, all their power, and using it for an evil... Aquatic mammal? An evil dolphin? No, a porpoise. Oh, an evil purpose. That's good intel. Keep working on it. Hey, where are you going? 
To find Baldy McNose Hair, of course. <laughs> I'm totally calling him McNose Hair. Someone asked me how do I feel about the dialogue and I, I, I'm not really finding it amusing, but there's someone out there who enjoys that stuff. I, I really don't find the game to be that funny. I just go, huh. But this is basically our next world. What's the name of this world called again? It Does it say it? Starlight. Duh, what am I thinking? Sonic the Hedgehog 1 Starlight Zone was epic. That's my favorite zone in that game. Sonic Hedgehog 1. Leave a like if you want to do Sonic Hedgehog 1. I totally do that if you guys want it. But that is it, guys, for this part. Join me in the next exciting episode of Sonic the Colors. That's a bad accent. I don't know who I was impersonating on there, but yeah, our next episode basically check out Starlight Carnival. Later, guys. God bless. Peace. <gasps> Gotta take a deep breath on that because I love this game so much. <laughs> Later, Banana Nation. Bad ass. Peace, man. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.